Hello, in this video we are going to look at adding a save button onto an OLE Savefax spreadsheet. The advantage of the button over the standard field where you would usually type in yes to save the journal back into Exchequer is to remove the risk of duplication. The journal will only be loaded when the button is pressed or the shortcut command is used. Here we have an OLE journal load that I have already created. By changing cell B7 from no to yes, the journal will be saved into Exchequer. Here I'll demonstrate. So if I click into B7 and type in yes and then enter, you can see that C7 has been updated from disabled to saved. And if I open Exchequer in my nominal date book, the journal's been created. But what I would like to happen is I'd like this cell to automatically be set back to no to reduce the risk of a duplication occurring. And to do that, I just need to create a simple three-lined macro. And that's done within Excel in the developer ribbon. If you can't see the developer ribbon within Excel, it's probably because you haven't activated it. To activate it, you need to go to Files, Options, Customize Ribbon, and check the developer box, and then click on OK and your ribbon, your developer ribbon should appear. To create my macro, I click on record macro, and every macro has to have a name, so mine's going to be called yes, no. I'm going to I use a shortcut key as well as a button to activate my macro and to load my journal into Exchequer. So mine's going to be control, shift, and Y. And then I can also enter a description of what the macro will do. So journal load from Excel to Exchequer and click on OK. I then stop recording my macro. So that's created the basic shell of my macro and now I need to add the three lines of code. To do that I click on the macro button, select my macro, so yes, no, and then click on edit. I then within the macro itself, I go down and enter my first line of code, which is range, open brackets, speech marks, B7, speech marks, close brackets, dot, select. This is just telling the macro to look at cell B7. If your yes no instruction is somewhere else on your spreadsheet, just change the B7 on this line to whichever grid reference you need it to look at for your yes no function to work and then enter my second line of code active cell dot formula r1 c1 equals yes speech marks and then my third and final line of code active cell dot formula r1 c1 equals speech marks no speech marks and that's my macro written. I can check my macro whilst I'm still within the macro editor and to do that I press F8 on the keyboard and the system will work its way through the macro for me. So the first thing it does is read the macro name then it goes down to my first line of code which is to select cell B7. So now you can see it's selected cell B7. Then it's going to change the text in cells B7 from no to yes, so it's updated that and my journal's been saved into Exchequer. And then if I press on F8 again, it's now changed B7 back to no, and then that's the end of my macro, so I know that everything's working perfectly. And I can save that macro, and I can come out of the editor back into Excel, and now I can add my button onto my spreadsheet. That's also done from within the developer ribbon. In the control section, I go to insert and I select the button icon. I then get to draw the button onto my spreadsheet. So I'm just going to put my button right, drag and drop over the, the no and the disabled message. And I let go. It then asks me to assign the macro. So I've just got one macro, which is my yes no macro. So I highlight that and click on OK. And then I'm going to want to rename my button because I don't want it to be named button 1. So if I right click on the button and edit text, 
I'm going to change that to journal load and then I click off the button and it's ready to go. So now to load my journal into Exchequer, I click on the button which will update B7 from no to yes and back to no again. And if I go into Exchequer, this is going to come out of the nominal day book and back into it. You can see that my journal has now been uploaded directly into Exchequer. I would suggest that you test this out in your demonstration data system first and once you're happy with it then connect it to your live system and you do that by changing your company map within your hourly save. What you also have to do is when you save your journal you have to save it as a macro enabled Excel worksheet so that the macro gets stored at the same time as your spreadsheet. I hope you have found this um, video useful. Thank you for watching.